हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई एम गुरमीत सिंह एंड वेलकम यू टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू अवर कंप्लीट सीरीज ऑन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर और इन दिस सीरीज वी विल कवर ऑल दिस लेक्चर यूजिंग द पावर ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन यू विल लव अवर यूनिक वे ऑफ टीचिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर वी आर ऑल्सो हैविंग ए कम्प्लीट पी डी एफ ऑफ द फॉर्मूला एंड कॉन्सेप्ट लिस्ट चेक आउट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव द क्यूज रिलेटेड टू द वेरियस ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक क्वेश्चन to check the level of your understanding of the concept check the link in the description and specially in this lecture we will cover the trigonometric example question question number 6 to question number 8 related to trigonometric ratios of specific angles so without taking any further time let's start the lecture before solving the questions we require two things first is this trigonometric ratio table second are the formulas of trigonometric ratios these are the formulas Go to the description, download the complete PDF of the formula and concept list, in which you will find the printable format of this trigonometric ratio table. Take the printout, keep it with you. If you are not able to take the printout, just draw this trigonometric ratio on a paper and keep it with you. The handy trigonometric ratio table will be really, really helpful in solving many questions and also enhancing your basic fundamental. It is really helpful, believe me. and also observe that in this questions the trigonometric ratios formula will be used which we have already covered in the previous lecture if you have not done that go to the description you will find the link to the previous lectures so without taking any further time let's take the example number 6 in triangle abc right angle at b ab is equal to 5 cm and angle acb is equal to 30 degree determine the length of the side bc and ac so this is the question let's observe the question in this a triangle abc is given which is right angle at angle b and angle c is given as 30 degree the side ab is given as 5 cm and we have to find the length of side bc and ac these two sides of the triangle we have to calculate so let's approach this question here angle c is given as 30 degree which we will take as a trigonometric angle So first step we have identified the trigonometric angle we will move to the second step that is identifying the trigonometric sides which are perpendicular hypotenuse and base so what is perpendicular perpendicular is the side which is opposite to trigonometric angle angle c that is 30 degree angle is a trigonometric angle so ab is the side which is opposite to the trigonometric angle so ab is the perpendicular and what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree angle angle b is 90 degree so ac is the hypotenuse for this triangle with respect to the trigonometric angle angle 30 degree or angle c the third remaining side is the base that is bc is the base so we have done with the second step that is we have identified all the trigonometric sides now we can easily apply the trigonometric ratios here the angle is given it means angle theta is given and perpendicular ab is given as 5 cm and we have to find base and perpendicular for this triangle firstly let's find the base what is the relation between the perpendicular and the base the relation is tan theta that is the trigonometric ratio tan is the relation between the perpendicular and base tan theta is perpendicular upon base here trigonometric angle is c perpendicular is ab and base is bc so tan c is equal to ab upon bc ab in the question is given as 5 cm angle c is 30 degree we have to find bc that is base for this triangle so what is tan 30 degree for that we will observe the trigonometric ratio table tan 30 degree is 1 upon root 3 let's put the value let's solve it we got bc as equal to 5 root 3 so we got base of this triangle as 5 root 3 cm let's move further we have to find the hypotenuse ac for this triangle we are having two different approaches through which we can find the hypotenuse we know the trigonometric angle either we can use perpendicular and the hypotenuse as the trigonometric sides which is basically sin sin is perpendicular over hypotenuse we know trigonometric angle we know perpendicular we can find the hypotenuse either we can use base and hypotenuse which is cos cos is base upon hypotenuse we know base we can find the hypotenuse let's use both the method 
this is the first question so we will go deep into the question so that you can better understand about these type of questions and the various approach that you can use okay firstly let's apply sin c which is perpendicular over hypotenuse perpendicular is ab and ac is the hypotenuse angle c is 30 degree so what is sin 30 degree let's say for the table sin 30 degree is 1 by 2 so we got 1 by 2 is equal to 5 upon ac on solving ac is equal to 10 centimeter got it so by using the trigonometric ratio sign we have calculated the value of ac let's use the second method that is using the cos as the trigonometric ratio cos is base upon hypotenuse which is bc upon ac cos 30 degree is bc upon ac and bc we have calculated as 5 root 3 and what is the value of cos 30 degree let's refer the trigonometric ratio table it is root 3 upon 2 let's put the value on solving we got ac as 10 centimeter the same answer it means we can either use the sine ratio or we can use the cos ratio we will get the same answer is there any other approach that is coming in your mind yes right the third approach that you can use is the pythagoras theorem you got the two sides of a right angle triangle you can easily apply the pythagoras theorem and find the third missing side here ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square we know ab and bc let's put the value on solving we got ac that is hypotenuse as equal to 10 centimeter so using the three different approaches we have calculated the length ac all the different approaches you should know because in the mid of the examination if you are prepared with all the different approaches you can easily and fastly solve any of the question okay so we have done with the example number six let's move to example number seven in a triangle pqr right angle at q pq is equal to three centimeter and pr is equal to six centimeter determine angle qpr and angle prq so this is the question let's observe the question in this question a triangle pqr is given which is right angled at angle q and pq is given as 3 cm and pr is given as 6 cm and we have to find angle p and angle r these two angles we have to calculate so let's approach this question firstly let's find the angle r for that let's take this angle r as the trigonometric angle so first step we have done we have identified the trigonometric angle second step we will identify the trigonometric side Firstly perpendicular perpendicular is a side which is opposite to trigonometric angle so pq will be the perpendicular that is perpendicular is equal to 3 cm further hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree angle so pr is the hypotenuse which is 6 cm the last remaining side qr is the base for this triangle with respect to trigonometric angle angle r got it so we have identified the trigonometric sides now let's apply the trigonometric ratio which ratio we will apply let's see here the perpendicular and hypotenuse is given so what is the relation between the perpendicular and hypotenuse it is sine so sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse and perpendicular and hypotenuse both are given so we can write sine r is equal to pq upon pr and pq is 3 pr is 6 so we got sin r as 1 upon 2 so we got the value of sin r which is 1 upon 2 let's refer the trigonometric ratio table and see for which angle the value of sin is 1 by 2 here the angle is 30 degree sin 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 we got the value of sin r as 1 by 2 so angle r will be equal to 30 degree got it our trigonometric angle is angle r so we have calculated angle r as 30 degree let's find the angle p which is the second missing angle two angles we know of this triangle angle q is 90 degree angle r we have just calculated as 30 degree we can apply the sum property of the triangle that is the sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equal to 180 degree let's put the value we got angle p as 60 degree 
got it we have got the angle p this is one of the approach in a right angle triangle we can apply the different approaches to solve the question here we have used the sum property of the triangle but we can also use the trigonometric ratios to find this angle let's see this is an alternative approach which you should know here if we take the angle p as the trigonometric angle then qr will be the perpendicular which is the side opposite to trigonometric angle and pr is the hypotenuse which is the side opposite to 90 degree angle and pq is the base that is the remaining trigonometric side for angle p pq is the base and pr is the hypotenuse and what is the relation between base and hypotenuse it is cos so we can say cos p is equal to base upon hypotenuse which is pq upon pr so we got cos p is equal to 1 by 2 now let's refer the trigonometric ratio table and see for which angle the value of cos is 1 by 2 so we got it is 60 degree so angle p is 60 degree one of the alternative way in which you can find the angle p but the first approach that is the sum property of the triangle is the fastest way but note that but you should know all the approaches it will make you very fast in solving the tough questions of the trigonometric ratios okay so we have done with example number seven let's move to example number eight if sine a minus b is equal to 1 by 2 cos a plus b is equal to 1 by 2 a plus b is between 0 degree and 90 degree a is greater than b find a and b so here in this question sine a minus b and cos a plus b is given and we have to find the value of a and b and it is also given a is greater than b and also a plus b that is sum of angle a and b is between 0 and 90 degree and also equal to 90 degree so this is the question let's approach the question do not be confused like a minus b and a plus b are given in bracket these are just the angle you can take a minus b as x and a plus b as y just to denote the single angle to avoid any of the confusion just a minus b is a angle and a plus b is a angle for the time being a minus b is x and a plus b is y just for simplicity so sin x is given as 1 by 2 and cos y is given as 1 by 2 let's refer the trigonometric ratio table and check out for which angle the value of sine is 1 by 2 and for which angle the cos value is 1 by 2 here we got for 30 degree sine value is 1 by 2 so we got angle x as 30 degree and in the cos case for 60 degree the cos value is 1 by 2 so we got angle y as 60 degree got it sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 and cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 so x we got as 30 degree y we got as 60 degree x basically it is a minus b so we got a minus b is equal to 30 degree and a plus b is y so a plus b we got as 60 degree we got two equation we can easily find a and b let's add both the equation we got twice of a is equal to 90 degree angle a is 45 degree let's put angle a in any of the one equation on solving we got b as 15 degree here we got both the angle that is the answer of this question so students that's it for this lecture hope you have enjoyed our creative way of teaching if you have enjoyed this lecture if you have gained anything out of this lecture please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel that is creator classes we add creativity to the learning and note that this lecture is part of the complete series on trigonometry for class 10 student the link to the other lectures are given in the description check it out and apart from this also check out the pdf of the complete formula and concept list and also the quiz related to trigonometric questions where you can check the understanding of the trigonometry and the questions so that's it for this lecture bye for now best of luck for the exam you are preparing for and have a great day bye